Hello, my friends. Welcome once again to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. Oh, my friends, being in agreement, harmony, unity, it's what the world's looking for. We all just want everyone to get along, be in agreement and harmony and unity, holding hands and loving one another, but in agreement with who? <laughs> That's the problem. Who's going to set these rules for agreement? the standard, and uh, are there going to be any boundaries uh, when it comes to uh, being in harmony and walking together? Listen to what the prophet Amos writes about when he talks about walking together. In Amos, the book of uh, chapter 3, verse 3, the two walk together unless they have agreed to do so. So he's asking this question. So what is he talking about? So even though this is in the Old Testament, and this scripture is talking about Israel. God is calling Israel to turn from their wicked ways and to walk with him. So God has promised them blessings if they walk in his ways and they obey his statutes. But what's happening is they've turned from him. And so uh, Amos is asking this question. But they did not walk with him. And Amos is warning them. He's warning them of judgment. So this is why Amos is asking this question. The two walk together unless they both agree. Now God has given them the statutes, the, the law, and what they have done, they have turned away from it. So they really are not walking with God. So what about us today? Well, Jesus was judged for our sins, uh, that we might live uh, as uh, unto the Lord. So he took our sins upon himself. We are to walk in this world in agreement with Christ. And so I asked earlier, who sets the standard? The standard is set by the word of God. Our reality is based on the word of God. You know, we've heard this over and over in John 8, 32. The truth shall set you free. So Christ took upon himself the curse uh, of the law so that we might become the righteousness of God in him by grace through faith. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 God made him who had no sin to be sin. Christ was perfect. He was perfect. He never sinned but God put his, his sins, uh, our sins on him. Why? So that we could become the righteousness of God. Isn't that wonderful? So now, in Psalms 127, verse 1, uh, the Bible says, uh, the psalm is right, unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. In other words, if we're not walking in harmony with God, if we're, if we're not uh, being obedient to him, walking with him, can two walk together unless they have both agreed to do so? The Bible says, if we're not walking together with him, the things that we're doing is in vain. And you know, there's a lot of things that we're doing today that really are not productive for our spiritual well-being and for our minds. And I think as a result, we're finding that a lot of people are having a lot of emotional issues dealing with this life because they're not walking in accordance with God's Word. They're not in agreement with Him. And that's what as uh, Christians, as Christ followers, uh, Christ laid down his life for us. And now we no longer belong to ourselves. He made us righteousness by uh, dying for our sins. And that's what the Bible says. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us so that in him, we're now in him, we might become the righteousness of God. My friends, we must be in agreement and in harmony and unity with God. And the only way we can do that is by walking according to his ways, that we agree that we're going to walk according to the word of God. I really believe this is the problem that so many people are having today. They're struggling emotionally, spiritually, physically, because they are not in agreement with God. And, I, and this is uh, why this scripture, Psalms 127, really backs up what I'm saying. Unless the Lord builds the house, 
the builders labor in vain. Unless it's, you're in agreement with him, we're going to struggle. And we're seeing this over and over and over again. So what are we to do? How are we to get in agreement with him? We're going to first come into a, a make confession, uh, turn from our sins, uh, confess that Jesus is Lord, the Son of God, and allow the Spirit of God that now lives in us to lead us. And the only way that we can understand and know how to be led is through the Word of God. Because remember when the, uh, Amos he was talking about they turned from his statutes and his laws. So they were given the statutes. They were given the laws. They were given the things that they were to obey, but they had turned from them. And God is warning them, unless uh, you turn, uh, that there will be some consequences uh, for not walking according to his way. My friends, we want to be in agreement with God and in harmony and unity with him. He sets the rules, not man, because man comes up with stuff uh, that benefits himself. And look at the standard that we have today. We're uh, all over the place. And because of that, people are really struggling emotionally, spiritually, financially. Just uh, you cannot win, my friend. Unless the Lord builds this house, the builders labor in vain. Thank you, my friends. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101 as we talk more about this subject.